Hey guys, um, just saying the audio quality in this video isn't the greatest, but I still hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Begin game. Ooh, begin with intro. This has got to be good. This is very cool. Ooh. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley. Yep. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Mm -hmm. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them and in what order. This is what employee 4277 did every day of every month of every year. And mm -hmm. although others might have considered it soul wrecking, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. That's good for Stanley. It's, I, I and like one this. Day, oh. Something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. He's gotta go crazy. Up to give him instructions for a meeting or say hi. Oh no. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, okay. I, re I really like this. This is, um, it's interesting. This cut scenes fine. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Uh, by the way, I'm playing on controller. I don't have a VR headset yet. Hopefully, later down the road, I can get one. <gasps> Where's my keyboard? Do I have a keyboard? Can I open doors? Oh, that's cool. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he meeting room. Meeting room, meeting room. No, okay. Can I go in here? Can I go in here? Oh, can I go in here? Where is the awaiting input? I can give you an input. Input received, yes. How do I? Let me. Oh, damn it. Yeah, so, um, hopefully later I can try and get a, um, VR headset. Um, open. No. Open. All these doors are locked. Oh. So, um,. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Left. Yep. I did. I did do that. I can't come in. Okay, I'll just go to meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay, make sure you're so uh, okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. Is this going to be important for later? I think I should go in here. Oh! Why did Stanley that stepped into the broom closet, but there I was did. nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I love this. 
This is so cool. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I can walk downstairs though. <gasps> Should I follow the now the now at all? Ooh. Uh, yeah, go upstairs. I I think we're gonna replay this another time. And we've got to do everything the narrator says. But the opposite of what the narrator says. Uh, what's this? Am I gonna get locked in here? No. Is that, is that <laughs> what? Is that a duck? Okay, um. Nothing in here. We'll close the door. Um, chairs. Close that door. Or not. There we go. I feel like this game is going to slowly turn into a whole game. Useless text. What is this in? <laughs> Elevator. No, I don't want to go through the elevator yet. We go here. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley <gasps> wondered oh, in disbelief no. who orchestrated this. What dark Ooh. secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> this is so metal. Um the now I just oh oh <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh my god, fall through there. Oh no, it's good. Ooh, buttons. That's the red one. Turn everything off. Oh. Ooh, no, I need to go this way. Descending deeper into the building, he felt a bit peculiar. It was peculiar of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? When for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. What happens if I went through the um the elevator instead of entering the passcode? If light is on call EXT on one four immediately. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, this is what I'm saying, like, it gives me a chance to leave, but... <gasps> the narrator is the voice in my head that's controlling me to do this. But I could always go through... Ooh, this is very nice story. Very, very nice story. Yeah. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horror secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes, I did. Something's got to collapse. This is so crazy. Cameras. Oh. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. I see no numbers. Individuals reduced to images on the screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 
This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. We... Oh, that's hurting me. Yes. 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 No. No. Okay. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It Never. Unthinkable. unthinkable. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? This is like, this is like really crazy. Really metal. I can jump. Oh. Oh. Uh. Mind controls idle waiting input a lot of I can pick Danger no one reads this anyways right so this is dangerous. Um, mind controls idle or reading input. Oh. This is terrifying. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. I won. Unshared from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense oh, this is elevator. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been oh. freed from the machine's grounds? What hmm. other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to do. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay. See, there's more than one ending. The freedom ending. Oh, no, nah, we're not doing it again. We're not doing it again. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna leave that here. I think we should, um, play it again. Different endings. This music's really getting to me. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, see you later.